Hey guys, welcome back in Korea Bangla IT. And as you know that in Unreal Engine 5, they give a new feature, a awesome feature that Nanite. So, but you maybe have a question that bro, how I can make a, my own Nanite mesh? Like, I don't want to use Unreal Engine Microprocess as I am I'm going to use the Blender or Autodex. So, how can I make my Nanite mesh? Okay, so let me show you. So, as you can see, I'm opening the Unreal Engine 5 and here is my blender that 2.93.0 so let's click on general so click on just remove the lights and camera because we don't need so this is a basic very cube so I will delete this thing and simply add a cylinder and make it some smaller as possible for me and select this the face and just try to make kind of like a tree okay I'm not oh, that I'm a very bad model maker but for now you don't have anything in YouTube that to show you that how you can make this thing okay however I think that will be worksome okay so then what I'll be do basically just duplicate this thing select make it some smaller just make some round like that and just attach under of this so it's look like a tree okay like yeah it's i hope it's look like a tree so actually we'll be good to the same thing that some randomly size we just give some randomly size so it will be look nice okay like that okay it's your wish that how you make okay just you need to make just in my case i'm just making this thing okay a very bad model so I just duplicate this thing go at Y and just simply drag this thing and make like that so it will be looks like look kind of like a tree okay I think this is uh, quite enough good however then click on mesh and icosphere and then I think that is good so I don't want to change this just you need to make like that okay just go at X value or X skin and then just make something just make some big and make some small and it will be look great okay yeah that is the main thing okay as you can see it's looking very nice so I'll be duplicate this thing grab this thing just join that chair make something like that and yeah guys just look that was pretty enough to look like a nice tree okay then we'll be select this thing and then we'll be join them in a one play in one part so join and the leaves we also select them and join them in one place okay as you can see that is now pretty enough good okay so also then we need to go in shader okay so i will be show you two way to uh, just think that if you are using the basic uh, the materials like the basic colors and if you are using a texture material so yeah as you can see unreal is open let's click on game then click on next and we'll be simply create for a desktop and we don't add any starter content click on create so at this at the moment what will we do basically select this leaf click on new and just give it a mat name that mat one and i will be add a simple code here that mix and that is mix rgb then with the color i'll be set with my uh it's lagging sorry because the unreal engine 5 is now loading that's why dismiss dismiss okay as you can see uh, it's done it's loading and with the color with the base color and as you can see now in color I'll be add this thing and make it some yellow kind of like I think the yellow color will be look very nice okay as you can see this tree is looking very natural okay like maybe <laughs> however uh, you can set the rugness and other thing and then we'll be set this one and also give a name that matte 2 and in the basic color we'll be try to give like that some more kind of brown color and if you want you can also add the mix color so it will be give some more natural and some amazing you can use the shader also but I'm using this one so kind of like that yeah this thing is also very nice like it's give you a natural color more as you can see now it's looking very nice okay then go at layout and just select them both and just simply join 
okay now this is a in a one part so we'll be called is that a tree trees okay then what I do is import FBX I and I will be import my third person manicured player the unreal engine player I already export this thing from unreal engine and as you can see that is a real size in if you are at by default in unreal engine as you can see and uh, I think this tree should be some smaller some not so much only some okay and yeah th as you can see this is pretty enough good and for this sides okay like just go to edit mode select this face and make like that okay I'm think I think that it will be some nice okay however as you can see that is pretty enough good okay it's looking very nice let's click on delete then we'll be click on export and if you want what you can do that uh, just select this thing and click on here uh, where is the option sorry uh, this one go to edit click on all those things and there's a should be option this one so as you can see if you enable this thing that is statistics so you can f uh, find this information that how much vertices you have what is the object the face and the triangles and as you can see it's two, uh, 2000 so lots of triangles and then uh, as you can see it's by default I select to face okay and you can also give this to size so it will be give you a nice thing uh, other is pretty enough good that is statistic, uh, static mesh and as you can see that was pretty enough good now let's click on like that click on export fbx the just set any of location so I will be set call this thing to call this thing that tree okay let me set like that tree r e trees and also just click on export now come in unreal engine so at unreal engine uh, you can create a folder so that models and then open this thing right mouse click on import and just select your tree and click on open and now as you can see there's a give you option that build nanite so just click on this thing and also let's check these things so that is advanced so let's click on this advanced that there's any there's as you can see uh, they ask you that what kind of old OLD this thing or what is the group this thing so I will give it that a simply a uh, a larger pop and then uh, as you can see that generate lights UV so if you are if you are building that so I it recommend to just disable this thing okay and then others is quite enough good Let, then click on import so as you can see this thing is now building in a nanite mesh okay now let's click on save all okay as you can see the green color is break uh, I think maybe for the mix a uh, mix color maybe in unreal engine it's can't identify that so it will be simply set the green one okay uh, let's set the green one and make it some dark click on ok apply and save okay as you can see our tree system now let's drag in your world so as you can see that is our tree with a build with nanites okay it is a nanite mesh so let's click on light nanite visualization click on overview and as you can see this is a nanite mesh okay so now let's try to play this uh, with them so let's create a simple landscape if you want you can create a landscape if you want okay I'm just showing you click on create that is a 8 by 8 kilometer map let's click on foliage and let's drag our um, this thing in here and disable the statistic and BSP we are only uh, plan our trees in landscape and let's set the trees to 10 
okay and also give it a um, random size that 0 0.7 to maximum 0 0.3 okay and also if you want you can set it to more well okay as you want so let's try to as you can see that is pretty enough good but I think that is so much so let's remove some and again set it to only uh, 6 uh, yeah I think that is pretty enough good let's now make our brush some big and let's brand in over in our world so as you can see it's looking like a low poly okay a, like a low poly jungle it's uh, very nice okay like as you can see this is quite enough good okay like that is our more than 2000s okay but it is very nice also we can try for the same thing for like if you think that if you are not using the basic uh, the basic materials you are using some texture so what you can do so let me show you that in my case I'm using the paint and at here I'll be set some color that for the this one I'll be set to the color like this some darker so I go add it and make some it dark okay then just make like that and then I need a green color so I'll be add a green okay that is pretty enough good click on save and then go downloads and you can now save your uh, texture so I will call this thing that TX uh, that txt1 okay then come in blender and at the blender just click on your mesh then go add to shading then with just remove this color make sure if you have any type of color you need to remove them okay like if you want you can delete but as you can see it's have the color original color why let me t uh, tell you because we already add the this thing we join this thing uh, this both thing so that's why it's have now the one so let's what will we do first of all we need to make it that separate okay like the tree we need to make them separate so let's do the separate uh, I don't think that it will be go more separate okay uh -huh. okay guys I don't think that it's go more separate however as you can see that was now what will we do with that just click on add then image IMG image with texture and connect with basic color click on open just go while you saved your the textures in my case is this one click on import like that as you can see that was good but we need to go at the by selecting this thing just go to UV editing and as you can see that is the part okay so that is the upside part so we'll be select them and just make like that and set it to green area and we select all and then what will we do is basically select this thing like that for now let's just separate this thing like that so we will be get a nice like that I'm selecting all but not the leaf okay make sure I'm not setting the leaf okay now make like that and for that one you can also use the same like this so I think that will be some good okay now let's go to shading and as you can see that's pretty much enough but with the texture okay now let's go at the layout uh, what will we do again just click on just click on file then export fbx and we'll be give it name that 3 2 and export come in Unreal Engine and last with the models let's create another folder that models 1 click on right mouse import then click on tree then click on open and build it nanite and we'll get same that and make sure we disable the generate lightning UVs then click on import
and as you can see the texture is automatically come at share as you can see now click on save okay now it's come now let's try to drag this thing in our world as you can see that is also a nanite mesh but with the texture okay it's also very so much perfect so if you want you can remove this tree some so like that just remove some tree from here so we can plant some tree so let's now add our this tree to here and with selecting this thing let's set also that 6 and set the scale size to 3 and then just click on plant okay as you can see that is so much i think that is planting so much so let's set it to uh it is because you can set as you want so the three two i think that is a six okay yeah guys that is quite enough good also low poly but that was pretty enough good as you can see okay like guys seriously it's looking very nice that if you call this thing a low poly city that will be very nice but look there's a lots of triangle okay as we know that there's a more than a uh, 2000 triangles but with nanite it's working very goodly <laughs> with low poly that was so much good the trees are very nice no problem and as, as you can see no issue that was pretty enough good and if you just uh, just work some in landscape that scene will be make more good so i hope you understand this video and how you can make your own nanite mesh okay so also if you want to download these models i will give the link in the screen long below in fbx file so you can just download and enjoy okay so thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye